Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with the Moto G5. Okay, so we've got some good news here. The Android P, Android version P 9.0 for the Moto G5 Cedric is now available. Um, this is by no means stable, so just bear that in mind. There's quite a few things not working. So, not working list. Camera's not working, fingerprint sensor, camera flash, more actions, face unlock. So these things are not working. So like I said, it's by no means stable. However, if you want to install it and try it out, um, you can follow this video and get it installed onto your Moto G5. So yeah, first things first, you will need to unlock your bootloader. If you don't know how to unlock the bootloader, I'll leave a link to my simple tutorial in the description down below. Follow that video, unlock the bootloader, then come back to this video to install Android 9.0. So, I want to give a special shout out to this guy here, Hey LM Victor. He's the one who has provided us with this Android 9.0. So yeah, all credits to this guy here for putting in the work. Okay, so let's, in fact, wait a minute. First thing you need to download before we download anything, you will need to download minimal ADB. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. And then you're going to download each one of these files. So download the Android P system image from this link here. And then you're going to download these three files here. And then you're going to scroll down and you're going to download the Play Store from this link here. So once you've downloaded all of those files, just save them to your desktop. I've already got each file saved to my desktop. And if you scroll down, you can download the TWRP from this link and you can also download the ROM from this link. That's another link here for the ROM as well. Okay, so just download everything, all these files, save them to your desktop. So at the moment I'm running Android 7.0, let me just show you all real quick. This is stock Android 7.0. On my G5. Oh, G5. Android 7.0 Okay, so <clears throat> let's start this. So let's install minimal ADB Hit next I accept next next again next next install Okay, so minimal ADB should have installed to the C drive. Let's just check that. Program files x86, minimal ADB and fastboot, there it is. So we've got that set up. Okay, next, connect the phone to the USB cable. And 
open your SD card and then just drag and drop each of these files onto your SD card so post GSI 1 post GSI 2 post GSI 3 and then drag the lineage ROM the 15 point ROM onto there as well and the Google Play APK just put that on there as well this is the Play Store APK okay and then this file which is the 9.0 system image you're just going to extract it So extract all and it should create a folder on your desktop and just extract it Okay, so once it's finished extracting, the folder where it extracted to should automatically open and you should see the file. Just copy it. To your SD card. Where you've got all the other files. so this is going to take a while to transfer over I'll just pause the video and come back once it's finished transferring as you can see it's going to take 12 minutes okay so the PDP3 which is the developer preview free system image the 9.0 system Im image is almost finished transferring over now to the SD card
Okay, so you should have all these files on your SD card. Okay, so you can go ahead and shut that down. Okay, so now just go back to the C drive where minimal ADB is installed. Remember it's on your C drive in the x86 folder. Now drag and drop the TWRP image into there. Hit continue. Okay, so now, before you do anything, make sure you back up anything important on your device because doing this from this point on the device is going to get wiped so make sure you back up any important pictures videos whatever um because from this point on the device is going to get wiped so just bear that in mind so power it off Now we're going to go into fast boot mode, so press in between the volume up and down button here and press the power button as well. Keep them both held down for about 5 seconds until it takes you to this screen here. This is the fast boot screen. Okay, next, connect the phone to the USB cable. Just like that and it should say USB connected okay so go to the TWRP file right click on it select rename and then copy it now find a blank space in here anywhere in here and you're going to press shift on the keyboard and you're going to right click on the mouse let's just do that again so shift and right click and then this little box will come up select open command window here and then this little black window should then open and you're going to type fast boot space flash space recovery space and then right click on your mouse and paste the TWRP name in there and then put dot img at the end and then hit enter okay just wait for it to say okay and then you can unplug the phone and then use the volume down button and where it says start just keep going down to where it says recovery mode and then hit the power button to enter the recovery mode okay so now we're in just press cancel and then swipe across to allow modifications then select wipe select advanced wipe and then select wipe I mean Dalvik Art Cache and system and there uh, select those three and then select to wipe 
Okay, so it failed. Let's just try that again. Let's try it one, one at a time. Okay, so it still failed. No worries. Let's just do a factory reset. Okay, so the factory reset was successful. Okay, so now just select, go back, select install, select your storage, your micro SD card. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna flash the ROM. Lineage 15.1, unofficial Cedric zip. Swipe across to confirm flash. Okay, if the screen goes off, just press the power button on the side and then swipe to unlock. Okay, so just wait for it to say done. And now press the back button and then select image and then select the pdp3 sgsi image and then select system image and then swipe to confirm flash Once again, if it goes, if the screen goes off, just press the power button on the side and then start to unlock just to wake it back up. Okay, so just wait for it to say image flash completed. And then select back, back again, back again, then select mount. And now you're gonna select system at the top there. And um, you're going to select 
vendor then select back then select install and you can install each one of these files here so post gs1 swipe to confirm flash select back post gsi2 swipe to confirm flash and then select back post gsi3 swipe to confirm flash and wait for it to say done then select reboot system do not install
Okay, so the first boot did take a while, it took about five to six minutes. Android system, Android beta program. Okay, so it's just completing a setup there. Let's just go into the settings. System, advanced. About phone, advanced, Android version 9, and this is Android P running on the Moto G5. So, um, last but not least. Um, just install the APK, the Play Store APK, and once you've installed it, just reboot the device. So, just go into your file manager. And just look for the APK file. This is it here. Okay, so hit install. Okay, let's just try that again. Okay, it's taking its time to install, but just go ahead and install it. If you have any problems installing it, just... Um, don't bother, just sign into the Play Store and install it from there. You might have to update it from inside the Play Store because for some reason it's taking long to install here. But yeah, um, that's how to install Android 9.0 on the Moto G5. Like I said, this is by no means stable. Um, I showed you the bugs it had earlier on here these are all the things that are not working 
but like I said it's entirely up to you if you want to go ahead and install it just to have a little mess about with it okay so the app has finished installing took a while just select done and then just reboot the device that's funny though it took a while to install took about two minutes so yeah guys that's it for my tutorial video if you like the video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you get stuck with anything leave your comments in the comment section down below and um, be sure to share this video see by the android.timeout